Visuele gelettertijd. How to answer a visual begrip. So, if you are on grade 8 and up, you'll most probably get a, a comprehension in every paper 1 or in every tall toots that you write, where you have a, a normal comprehension, where you read an article and have to answer questions, but also we have a visual um, visual text, like a, a advertency of a sport print or a placard. We have to look at something visual and then answer questions. Um, looking at, at what's been given to us. So, come and look at the different types of visual text that we get. Number one is graphics, graphica. And this is like this percentages and graphs where you have to look at the percentages and, and the words, obviously, and get the answers from that. Number two is magazine, a tijdschrift, a tijdschrift for blood, like this. But also a poster, a movie poster, a placard. And then advertisements, advertencies, like this one where, an, um, where a product is being advertised or this one where an event is being advertised. And then we have comics, a sport print or a strookie spread, where it is um, a cartoon that is drawn and then there's a joke being made, a double meaning, something sarcastic um, being said. It is the the meme of back in the day. <laughs> that is what a sport print is. So this is a sport print and then this is a this is a strooky spread. Okay, let's start with this one. Here is a weer card, a weather map. So when you get something like this, a map like this, or a, a, a graph um, with percentages, so there's really no way for you to prepare or study for this other than just to do, to do one, to practice it. But what you are going to do in the test on exam is you are going to look for the words that are in the question. You're going to look for those words on your map, on your picture. For example, as you ask, say, who feel reisigers? Soek and look them up the internet. How many people, how many travelers um, search for info on the internet? So you're going to look for those words. So you can look for reisigers, and look them soek in an natuurlijk internet, because that is what they're asking us. So you're going to scan, 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 reisigers. Oh, okay. There's internet, and that is where you're going to look for your answer there. Okay, let's move on to an advertisement, advertency. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go over what makes a good advertisement, or if you have to create an advertisement, what will make it great. I'm going to explain um, when you have to answer an advertisement, things that you might get asked and where to look for the answers. Okay, come on, begin. So, first thing, you're going to look at the advertisement. You're going to read the words. You're going to look at the pictures, if there are pictures. Yes, you're going to look at the is what? What word is advertised? What is being advertised? And that should be clear. Now, you're going to look at, um, for pictures or a name or um, what are they advertising? Words that stand out, words that are in bold. In this case, Entrepreneursdag. There we have it. What is being advertised? The Entrepreneursdag. And then when. Now, if you know your, your question words, you know when you have a when question, the answer will be a time or a date. Okay, so answer will be at wanneer. Wanneer findet plaas. So let's have a look on your post. You're going to look for a date or a time. And here it is. 25 March 2014. And there's the time. But, oh, there's also a date. So then you have to make sure. So now we have two dates. Yeah, then you need to know what your, what your question means. Volgende is waar. Waar vind het plaas? So where is this thing happening? So question words again. We, when we have a where question, our answer will be a place. A place, uh, address, um, or a venue, something where it will take place. So come on, kijk, of ons address can see, if we can, have, if we can see an address or a place, there we have it, Wurschkul, Samstag. That is where the place fit. And then the target audience. Wie sal dit wil doen? So who will enjoy doing this? Or who are allowed to do this? So come on, if they mention anything about a certain person or specific people. Oh, uh, there we have it. Alle graad 8 word uitgenooi. So only the grade 8. Volgende tickets. Waar koop jy kaartjie? So... If it's in a case of an event, then we'll, you have to buy tickets. In this case, let's see if we'll have tickets. I don't think tickets, but ah, inscribe form beskikbaar by die secretaris. So in this case, you'll get your form 
at the secretary. And then extra. So let's have a look at what extra questions can you can the teacher ask you from this. So, where school some stands a yearlikse interpreneersdag. Yearlikse meaning yearly. So a question can be true or false. This interpreneersdag is being held every term. Then your answer will be false. It says yearly. Yearly meaning once a year. They, um, here we have prices what to gekend. So prizes will be given for specific things. So that can be a question. What, waarvoor wordt prijzen toegekend? And then you saw the reels. Um, what type of products can you sell? Um, or um, are your parents allowed to help you? Stuff like that. Okay, kom eens kijk naar volgende ene. Kom eens kijk naar die woorde. So look at the words. Look at the font. What is bigger? What is standing out? If this was in color, what colors do we have in the pictures? What pictures do we have? So eerstens, wat? Wat word gaat verteer? What is being advertised? We have to look for words that stand out. Are they advertising a product? Are they advertising an event? So kom eens kijk. Jy word uitgenooi na. A pa en sien ochend. So it's a dad and son morning. Dit is wat gaat verteer word. When? Wanneer vind dit plaas? So as we know, when we have a when question, we need a time or a date. Hier het ons die datum. So this is nice. They give us. It says date. Die datum. En die tijd. Then where? Waar vind dit plaas? So now we need an address or a place. En dit is hier so by Koem Boeke Menlin Retail Park. That is our where. Dan die target audience. Wie sal dit wil doen? In this case, they have specific people. Hulle sê, a pa en sien ochend. So only dads and dads. Sons. Okay, enige extras. Kom ons kyk. Um, hier noem hulle die gastspreker. So we have a guest speaker. So that might be a nice question. Hulle sê, oud springbok. Oud springbok. So question can be, what sport did this, did this person do? You know, springbok we know um, usually refers to, to rugby. So he might be a rugby player. Kindermaand is, and then we have a date. So that might be a question. Wanneer is kindermaand? And then we might ask you, this picture, what do you think this picture represents? What does it tell you? And then that you can all be winners. That is what that running and then there's a winner that that um, describes. And then there is 15% afslag. So, and it's also in bold. So it says you get 15% discount. So this might be, the question might be, how are they trying to, conv um, to convince you to come to this or convince you to, to um, buy this book? By giving you discount, by giving you discount on this, on this, on this book when you buy the book. Now, let's quickly look at what else um, can you be asked. So, you must take note of in fonts. So, what fonts are big? What is different? Usually, those are the things that that matter that need to be emphasized. So, usually, it's the name. He said once. Um, family Braidag met Snotkop. That is what is being advertised. It is big so that we can see exactly. Dan, kijk ons, is daar enige hoof in sub opskrifte? So headings and subheadings. Dan, we might ask you um, about a logo. Het ons enige logo, as jy so, ja, ons die school daar, we have SA Sport, we have National Braid, Nationale Braidag, and then a motto or slogan. This might be, this is also um, a nice question to ask you the motto, the slogan of, of the, the, the product that's being um, advertised or the restaurant. In this case, we can ask you the the Lese van die school. And there we have it. There's the school name and the Lese, it's underneath it, smaller. That will be our answer then. In then, here's so, standard spring castiel. So the question might be, yeah, name some entertainment um, happening on the day that is specific to toddlers and children. And then you're going to mention a spring castle, a, a jumping castle, because that is something for kids. Um, the target audience, he's so is who's the target audience, who can come to this event? And then it'll be a family gesinne, because it says family bridag. It's not just for dads and their sons, or for women, it is for family, the yelle family. Okay, guys, while editing this, I realize that this video is going to be way too long. That's why this is part one. So look out for part two, where I discuss comics, the strookies print, and the sport print.
Good luck.